they're taking without question. They are absolutely going to take Zach Wilson. There is no question about that. And listen, I I think that he's going to be an excellent player. And he better be if they, at the end of the day, traded Sam Darnold. Leads us brilliantly, I might add, to the Shinebox question. The Jets trading Sam Darnold was... The Jets trading Sam Darnold was. Have some fun filling in the blank on that one. Make sure you tweet us. Always love interacting with you guys on Twitter. At Adam Shine, at Mad Dog Radio, at the Scotty Moose, at the Bob Stew, and the great Bob Stew. Going to read the results to the Shine Box question coming up in the final hour of the show. And remember, for exclusive behind the scenes photos of Shine on Sports, you can follow the show on Instagram at Adam Shine. Dwayne in North Carolina, our good friends. Next, Shine on Sports. Adam Shine, how you doing today? My guy, Dwayne, bring it. Uh, it's it's a beautiful day here in North Carolina. I got the brought the students outside, spaced them out, mask off. A bunch of the kids wanted me to call in. Oh, that is They're awesome. Talking. That is so. You're I love that they wanted you to call in, and I love that you took them outside today. That's great. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, you're talking Falcons. There's a double header for the Braves today. It, it, it was kind of like uh, like Mike in the OC's day when UCLA was about to play Gonzaga. I, I had to call in. I had to call in. Talk a little Falcons. Talk a little Braves. Love it, uh, Dwayne. What do you got? Oh man. Well, we'll start with the Falcons because you know the Falcons and the Braves have the same number of wins right now. Um, the Falcons are picking at four. Uh, personally. I think if they're going to stay there, I agree with you. I would like for them to take Kyle Pitts. It's not many 6'6", 250 guys that run in the 4 force, uh, just out there with 7'3", wingspans. Um, Julio's not getting any younger. Um, and, and it's just another weapon. But I, I, on the other side, the Falcons' defense is a problem. Um, so I also – wouldn't hate it if they traded down. Um, certainly open-minded like, to it. Yep, certainly open-minded to yep. it. Would, wouldn't mind if they traded down not too far. I, I would like if they do trade down maybe with Denver uh, and get a guy like Patrick Sertan who can who can play multiple positions in that defense. He could line up at safety. He could line up at corner. He can cover tight ends because he's a 6-2 uh, DB. Um, physical was challenged at Alabama. Uh, I would like to see that that pick as well. But if they stay at four, I do not want them to take a quarterback. Uh, you know, I mean, how do you justify taking Trey Lance at four? You can't. And I like Trey Lance. You, how could you do that? I mean, that Matt Ryan is still playing at a high level. You know, Matt Ryan was unavailable this offseason via trade. You know what? You got to stay consistent here. And, you know, to your points, you know, I'm looking at Dan Jeremiah's mock draft. Right now, he has Trey Lance going number four. But specifically to your to the Falcons, and I would go ballistic if that Absolutely. was that was the pick. No, I would I go, would go ballistic. You know, yes. if you trade to with Denver, you know, you can get a receiver or you can get any defensive player you want. You know, we are going to have to see in terms of defense what Detroit does. We're going to have to see what Carolina does. But, you know, I I think, and also, like, even if you trade back to, let's say, you get a King's Ransom, right? And you go back to 15. Let's say New England wants Lance or wants Fields. There's still a chance you can get a stud defensive player. But, you know, picks are great, studs on defense, necessary. Kyle Pitts staring in the face. That's what I'm doing in the NFL draft. Absolutely. Uh, and, and quick Braves point, and, and I'll, I'll get off and, and, and listen. Um, I, I don't know what's going on with my Braves right now. The, it, in Philadelphia, the offense was the problem. The offense comes alive against Max Scherzer. And then the bullpen, which had been dominant, was the problem. So doubleheader today, uh, Braves got to win at least one of those. I think it's going to be Freed's start. I thought he was going to face Strasburg. Looks like that's not going to happen. Um, Braves got to win one of those. Uh, I did tweet at you yesterday. I- I've called in. I've talked about Pache. Uh, the bunt for oh my goodness! And, and the best part about the best part about that tweet 
And, and I was outside at the time shooting hoops with Theo. And, and I checked my phone to see what was going on. I saw your tweet. I was, I was laughing. Because you know, first of all, I love that you're a one-man you know, PR machine for him. I, you know that if they, you could always get me on the bunt. I, I, I am not anti-bunt at all. I love the bunt as, as a weapon. I am with you completely. I, I love well-rounded Katz and Dwayne. Tremendous telephone call. And glad you got the students out and they're learning outside. And, and all these teachers, just a tremendous job. What you guys do day in, day out nationwide during a pandemic. So thank you for everything you're doing for all the kids out there. Listen, I, I, I don't think it's exaggeration when you start talking about the Braves. Now, talent-wise, they're going to be fine, right? I'm not, I'm not worried. Here's where I'm worried for Atlanta. I'm worried about the division. I'm worried. Look, I don't think, and a lot of smart people had the Braves, you know, in the World Series or being better than the Dodgers. I, the Dodgers are winning the World Series. The, the Padres are a real baseball team. My concern for the Braves' big picture My big concern is that division is the best in baseball. So it's early. There's zero panic. You know, you're getting Washington to to your point at the right time with with their, you know, lack of available players with their COVID situation. You got got to cash in. I mean, and I think the Phillies are improved. The Mets are going to be fine. Have to make sure that you cash in, you know, taking care of these, these teams in the division. You can't get too far behind in the best division in baseball this year, the National League East, bar none. We will get into what stood out on a great day of baseball in the National League. Take more of your outstanding telephone calls right after a guy who always stands out. CeeLo in the Mad Dog Sports Radio Sports Live.